Today on The Daily Dose, America's first jet aircraft. With America's entry into the Second World War, an almost bygone conclusion, Army Air Corps Major General Henry Hap Arnold, one of the bomber mafia development advocates during the interwar period, witnessed a taxiing demonstration of England's first jet aircraft, the Gloucester Whittle E-2839, in April of 1941. Realizing he was staring at the future of aviation warfare, in October of that same year, Arnold arranged for one Whittle W-1X turbojet engine to be flown to the United States in a B-24 Liberator, along with drawings for the more powerful W-2B-23 engine and a small team of British aeronautical engineers, awarding a contract to General Electric for the production of jet engines, while Bell Aircraft Corporation was chosen to design and build the nation's first jet aircraft. The result was the P-59A, followed by design improvements in the XP-59A and the YP-59A, each model replete with an all-metal stress-skin semi-monocoque fuselage with a single pressurized cockpit, electrically powered tricycle landing gear, and a pair of two GE J-31 turbojets mounted under the wing roots in aerodynamic nacelles. Known as the Aero Comet, the Americans' first jet aircraft carried 290 gallons of fuel in four self-sealing tanks in the inner wing panels, while all production models could be equipped with two 1,590-gallon drop tanks under the wings. Flight tested at Murrick Army Airfield a year later, now known as Edwards Air Force Base near Lancaster, California, Bell test pilots Robert Stanley and Lawrence Craigie uncovered a myriad of problems over the next several months of testing, including poor engine response and reliability issues, poor lateral and directional stability at speeds above 290 miles an hour, and flight instability when firing the aircraft's twin 37mm auto cannons. The nation's first combat jet proved to be a further disappointment in terms of airspeed and performance with a maximum speed of 413 miles per hour compared to 440 miles per hour for the prop-driven P-51 Mustang and 414 miles per hour for the P-38 Lightning, relegating the 66 era comets that were built for use as flight trainers as fighter jet designs and speeds improved during the early years of the Cold War. Beginning development in 1939, and deployed into combat in April of 1944, the Nazis' ME-262 would prove to be the first dominant jet aircraft in history, with a maximum airspeed of 560 miles per hour, although the aircraft became a choice target when it slowed during final approach for landing, making for easy prey when Allied fighter pilots dove down from altitude to decimate the vulnerable aircraft, making the P-59A a disappointing yet promising future in aviation combat. And there you have it, America's first jet aircraft, today on The Daily Dose. If you like learning something new every day, subscribe to The Daily Dose on YouTube or sign up for emails at dailydosenow.com.